Fig trees are the perfect fruit tree for our southwest desert climates, and there's a variety of them to choose from. This tree happens to be a brown turkey fig, and we love it because we get two to three crops off it every year. But the first crop is always the biggest and the sweetest. The way that you can tell that a fig is ready to pick is because it turns this beautiful purplish color, and when you lift the fig like this, it comes right off very easily. Another way that you can tell when figs are ready is because of the variety of birds that show up every year to eat them. Everything from grackles to finches to the beautiful hooded oriole to mockingbirds and even the western tanager all love figs as much as we do. Because our fig tree produces such an abundant crop of figs, we certainly don't mind sharing with these beautiful birds. So if you don't have a fig tree, you most likely can find them at your local farmer's market and it'll be well worth your hunt because a fresh fig tastes just like a combination of peaches and strawberries combined. All right, now let's head to the grill and I'll show you one of my favorite recipes for cooking fresh figs. All right, I got my grill set on high, so now we're going to cut the fig into half inch slices. go and we want this I did it long ways just so it has a little more of a presentation factor to it okay and now we'll put them on the grill now these we only want to sear these we really don't want to cook them we just want to blacken them lightly because that brings the sugars to the surface I've already oiled the grill so it won't stick And this only takes about 20 to 30 seconds because we don't, like I said, they will fall apart pretty quick. So, all right, well, these look like they're done. So let's get these off. Oh yeah. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to drizzle some cinnamon honey onto these and this brings out the flavor too, but that blackened look that you see on these just gives it a nice smoky flavor and it brings that sugary sweetness forward in the figs. Then we're going to sprinkle some crushed pistachios on them. All right, so here we go. Seared figs with cinnamon honey and crushed pistachios. That's the way I like to do figs. <laughs>